Hey YouTube, in my previous video I compared the audio and video quality of the Nokia 8 against the Samsung Galaxy S8 Pluses. Video wise the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus seemed to do a lot better in darker environments. But when it came to audio there were quite a few different opinions. If you want to compare audio the best thing to do is use some quality headphones and perhaps even a standalone amplifier. Comparing music or sound using just your mobile device is not advisable, even when using headphones. For today's video I've decided to take a closer look at just the audio capabilities of these devices. Especially Nokia's, as the Nokia 8 is supposedly the first ever phone to feature Nokia Ozo Spatial 360 degrees audio. To enable these Ozo audio recording capabilities the Nokia 8 has three microphones. One is located near the bottom, the other is up top on the back and the third one is located next to the earphone speaker. According to Nokia, this should result in a superior audio experience. And playing back, the audio you recorded should be just like you're there. In the previous video, the audio between the two devices wasn't normalized. Thanks to Charles for pointing it out. So this time I used both phones, went back to the laser show from last video, got some new footage and tried to normalize the audio that came with it. So first things first, let's see, listen and compare. So as we're almost in December, we all know, winter is coming. Anyway, as I was normalizing the audio for these video files, it struck me as kinda odd that the audio spectrum for the Samsung's audio was a little bit different from that for the Nokia. So as I'm not that familiar with the complete audio spectrum, I looked up some info and found out that the audio spectrum is the audible frequency range at which humans can hear. 
It spans from 20 Hz up to 20,000 Hz and can be broken down into seven different frequency bands. These seven bands consist of the sub bass level, the bass level, the low mid range, the mid range, the upper mid range, presence, and brilliance. When doing a frequency analysis on the audio file of the Samsung, it goes up to around 20,000 Hz. Anything above that is considered ultrasonic and we are not able to hear it. What struck me as odd was when looking at Nokia's frequency analysis, is that it gets cut off at 17,000 Hz, which is 3,000 below the 20,000 limit. Hmm, what could be the cause for this? To rule out the hardware, I downloaded a third-party recording app. After configuring it, I started up my previous video and recorded this using the recording app. I loaded it up in the software I used to edit my audio, and lo and behold, there was no cutoff at 17,000 Hz. It went well over the 20,000 limit. So the only conclusion I can draw from that is that the camera app from Nokia performs a hard cutoff at 17,000 Hz when encoding the audio and video. I found this to be a little unexpected. However, let's see how it does in a less noisy environment. So this audio has been recorded by using both phones in my living room. It's a much quieter environment. And the Nokia stream microphone should benefit from it. If Nokia's claims are true, then you should be able to tell from which direction I'm coming. I'm sitting behind the phones right now, and I'll now stand up and move around a bit. Moving further away, even further to see if these microphones can still pick up my voice. Now coming back to both phones. So let's just walk around these phones now. I'll try and keep talking while I move around them so you can uh, perhaps hear from which direction I'm uh, actually coming. Correlated to the video you're seeing. Well, you're not seeing much, but you can see my legs pass by. Let's find out if you're able to pinpoint my exact location as I walk around. Now moving a little bit further away. Coming in from the back again. Let's now uh, strum some uh, chords on the guitar. I'm not a good guitar player, so this is only here for show. I'll just walk around while I strum it. <coughs> well, that sounds horrible. Well, that wraps up this video. Thanks for watching and or listening. Let me know if you have any tips or requests for the next video. Take care.